Welcome back one more time to our final SEA Boston Major Qualifier Series. I'm Nahaz, this is Draskel, this is LD, and we have a game to draft with Mineski staring down the barrel of elimination. Remember, this is winner take all. Winner moves on to Boston, loser goes home. Yeah, a lot and on the line here. Complete change of pace as well. So they banned the jug. Uh, it's very targeted ban. Uh, I like it a lot. Warriors gaming have been running the hero exceptionally well. I don't think it's something Mineski would ever first pick. Uh, Warriors gaming still sticking with the the staple ogre and naga bans, and so it's a bat rider opener. Pretty standard stuff. A lot of teams have been responding with the nicks, like Faceless probably would have, for example. But Warriors gaming go a different route. They take the shadow demon. You could argue a block pick, life stealer. Uh, actually, lanes decently against the bat rider as well. So perhaps yep. that's a consideration, and Mineski, they'll seconds. grab that Warlock again. I'm actually surprised I don't see more Life Stealer in this region, considering the prevalence of heroes like Undying and Ogre. It just feels like it's a, it's a good way to deal with the, the run-at-you strat that a lot of these C teams like to do. But yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of uh, Warriors gaming opening. Not to say that, you know, Batrider and Warlock are bad. It's just, you know, this hero, uh, Life Stealer, I think is a bit underutilized at the moment, given, you know, even Warlock, n none of those heroes have mobility. You just open wounds them and you punch them, and they're just <laughs> dead. Yeah, that that is for sure, and matches up well against strength heroes. Uh, fairly sustainable against the magic damage of Mineski. <laughs> also prevents them from getting access to the infest bomb, though. It's not really a hero they like all that much. Yeah, I'm, I'm still going to go back to the question for Mineski of, of who is going to play this Warlock, because I really, I thought that one of their biggest strengths throughout this regional playoff is uh, Ninja Boogie playing the hard five and Jules with his ability to, to get farm on his scaling supports at the four, and it just, they reversed that a little bit last game with uh, Jules playing the Dazzle and Ninja Boogie and the Warlock. It just didn't look like the same team. Reserve time. I mean, in some ways... I think it's it's more about Radiant what heroes they actually back. picked. Rather, than whether no, the, the Husker fifth pick was bad, right? Yeah. Let's let's just let's get that out of the way. But I, I, but I think it's more that than what heroes each individual were playing. Even though I mm. agree with the sentiment, I think that the idea that you should have somebody like you know when EGM Radiant played seconds, for Alliance at TI three and he was great at playing position four because he just right. got a he had a ton of farm. Five it's seconds, like the same Radiant. with Jules now, right? Right. So that part I agree with. I just want to make sure that we're not. Emphasizing the fact that that Huskar pick was not a Huskar pick. Yeah, that was that was just not a Huskar game for sure. So Slardar banned out by Mineski. Uh, we've seen the Golem is a real nuisance for the Warlock yeah. ult. It's a great vehicle for the Life Stealer. Would give them the Roche potential they're lacking. They'll also ban another vehicle in the Storm. So much more. It feels like kind of targeted bans. This I game. I am so surprised. Uh, that Mineski didn't use one of their second phase bands on the Knicks. Just a, a classic counter to the Batrider. Now, now you've got, this is a very hard Batrider game now. Yeah, they went Slardar ban over Knicks, which I find a little bit strange. I think that you probably keep Ten the Storm ban. And if it oh were yeah, me, yeah, I probably sure. would have banned Knicks instead. But I guess, you know, Slardar still in a lot of ways is really annoying to deal with because of the amount of like physical damage scaling that you get mm. for free just by having amp the, the Roshan potential as well, which could be the reason why they decided to ban Slardar instead of Nyx, because Warriors Gaming right now don't currently have a good Roshan lineup at all. And if they wanted to make sure that Roshan was never on the table for them, then Slardar ban makes more sense than Nyx. It's actually a really good Ten Ricky pick, in my opinion. Remaining. Smoke Cloud really messes with Life Stealer, not only uh, preventing him from Five raging off a lot remaining. of the spell damage, but the miss chance. Yeah. It is really strong because you get the, you can kind of get a free opening on Life Stealer a lot of the time. When the Bat Rider does get blinked, the Ricky is also a vessel to scout for any sort of lasso initiation. So there's definitely a lot of synergy there. I know the support combination itself, like Ricky Warlock, doesn't really like stand out to be amazing on paper, but I, I have seen it work. So Warriors Gaming picked number four, and Elder Titan rears his head now. God. They got a ban tanker, right? Warriors gaming lineup is so nasty right now. Yeah, that that is actually disgusting. Does does mean that it's going to be a core Nix assassin, which I, I don't see an issue with here. I think you you have to ban tinker, right? Um, boy. I think actually, if you were to pick tinker, you know Maneski. I don't know if they do the mid bat or. Who plays bat on their team? It's usually RR in the okay. offlane. Yeah. So it's a raging potato doesn't play bat. Okay. I, he has played it, but he doesn't 
play. He hasn't played it late. I think much. it's yeah. I think it's something that they have in their arsenal, but it's definitely usually Ralphie on that bat rider. Yeah. If that's the case, then I feel like if they were to pick Tinker and there's a roaming Ricky in the game, there's the potential to actually win that lane quite hard for Maneski. So I do think the Tinker is still really strong with ET for sure. That that combination. ET is and Nyx. But yeah. Maneski grabbed the TA. So this is a bit different. Okay. Maybe a bit of a pre-counter to the OD in case, in case Warriors Gaming were thinking in that direction. Mm, what is good against Warriors Gaming? I would say Ursa, but... But they have Shadow Demon. But they have Shadow Demon, yeah, and that, that is just painful to play against. It's pretty well around the draft. You got to give Warriors Gaming a lot of Reserve credit. Time. Yeah. Twice now, or it's like there's no obvious weak link. What if they were to go a different route on Maneski and go to something like Spectre instead? Because then you'd have like Lasso, Spectre, and Golem during fights, and that's like a, a tremendous amount of team fight. Actually, they would kind of lack control, but they're gonna lack control anyway. Like their only method of really being able to stun anybody is Lasso. I mean, I guess you could argue that Sven is probably still okay, but still suffers the same problems as a Shadow or as a, an Ursa against Shadow Demon, whereas Spectre pretty much can just kill the freaking Shadow Demon. What's your What's your build if you do that? You, uh, if you're Spectre, you're gonna go. Work? Matt's a defusal, probably. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Weaver's a re Weaver's a good bat too. Yeah, that's a really good hero. Yeah, we saw that Weaver versus Life Stealer matchup Ooh. yesterday or two days ago. That's a tough one. It that's was not very painful. not pretty. Yeah. All right, the Tinker Band. There it is. It's still decent against TA. It's just annoying. Yeah. I think they showed they know how to execute it well. So. What's a miracle hero? We saw the Sven. We saw the Life Stealer. The he Jug. Plays everything. The Naga. He's he has really showcased a lot of variety since coming back. Hmm. Dude, Warlock, Fatal Bonds, plus Spectre, man. I'm telling you, that's the dream. Is it really the? Yeah, I'm I guess it's still pretty good even without Radiance. Yeah. A little worried about their lanes at that point. Like, Riki Warlock is not a. I mean, their lanes aren't good anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're kinda, the issue. you've kind of thrown that part of the game away already. I mean, Batrider can just, always let's farm. Let's just make them as shit as possible, guys. <laughs> 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 no, nah, I just thought it would be cool. I actually don't think they'll pick Spectre. Um. Oh, oh well, righty then. There. Okay. Well, we could have like sat that. here a long time and not I come up like with that, that one, but I do too. That's real. It's actually amazing against Life Stealer because you do so much physical damage that even he can't stand there and tank it all. And they don't have very good illusion clear. Um, ET is okay, but like you can't just sit there channeling the stomp when CK can pull you in. Can't you just like Medusa though? Mm, oh, that's interesting. You could just go Ultra Late, yeah, with Medusa. You have Elder Titan to delay as well and yeah. Shadow Demon illusions. Not yeah. bad. Not a bad choice at all. And she did, and she she. I mean, you can as Chaos Knight micro the Phantasm illusions so they're not killed by Stone Gaze, but it's a pain in the ass. I think yeah, it is a, it's a pain in the ass, and it means that those illusions aren't running in Life Stealer's face. I think late game CK is really good against Dusa though with Diffusal Manta. Nah, that's like, true. That's true. And you, at the very least, you force out her ulti like when she doesn't want to use it. Let's but use there, there you go, Nahaz wow. is on point for game number two. Now that's assuming CK gets the farm, and that is not normally the best farming core. So this should be an interesting make, matchup, guys. Make that battle fury, you. <laughs> Dude, I've seen, you pro you I've know, seen I pro players do that. Okay, no, it's a thing. I've like, like, I can name you half a dozen pro players that still like swear by that. Mm -hmm. That swear it should be a thing. I've seen the Midas CK. I have not seen the the battle fury. Well, yeah, I've done it, but that's in pubs. So. It's like the the treads Midas drums, and then. Midas is good on CK because you really need levels as well. The ult scale. Yeah. Well, all his abilities scale quite well. Reality Rift is, like, incredible at level 4. The stun, actually, you max second now, I think, because level 4 Reality Rift is, like, 6 second cooldown and does an insane amount of damage. So, and yeah. obviously the ulti is... I mean, it's a little better than it used to be with at level 1 with the, you know, 50% chance for the extra illusion. Yeah. But. That being said, I still slightly favor Warriors Gaming's draft. Just because I think that Elder Titan Dusa late game is just yeah. nasty. And then you also have Shadow Demon on top of that. Although there's a, I don't know, there's there's a lot of snowball potential in this Mineski lineup. I oh mean, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, like you got, you got at least two heroes that can just completely go off and ruin the game. I think what I do like for Mineski is even if maybe team fight wise or composition wise, you're not as big a fan, like they have a comfort support for Jules. He's on the Riki. Yeah. This is where Jules excels is roaming, is brawling and just being a playmaker, not 
you know, sitting behind a carry and looking to use Grave at the right time. Although Mineski cannot afford to lose. And his Warriors lives. Gaming just smoke straight up the mid lane. They pop out a quick dust. It is a swing and a miss as Mineski actually almost seemed to be anticipating that maneuver. Having Jules in the bottom lane and the ward there, they knew nobody was coming that way. So they were prepared for a smoke. I mean, that was really fast reaction time from the Shadow Demon, actually. Because that, that smoke broke and he, like, instantly dusted. He might have been assuming that the Ricky was standing high ground at the same time. But fortunately, uh, RR I think, was there. I think they were, they were expecting, like, that traditional, like, Ricky, well, traditional, but more common nowadays, like, Ricky TP's mid, he drops the ward, he runs up right, to the right. high ground. So maybe they were trying to counterplay that. Doesn't work out, though. He's going to spot out the Knicks. Looks like both teams trade Bounty. Nothing crazy. So I guess it's Dusa versus TA. Yeah, it's Dusa yeah. versus TA man. Interesting matchup. Don't get to see that very often. I would actually imagine that TA does all right, but uh, if you get hit by a couple of snakes and you get low on mana. Yeah, that's the issue. Can and be a little bit and annoying. it's quite hard to avoid them with your pitiful attack range. Doesn't she still have 128 attack range without any side blades? Yeah. One I actually think it's 140. Yeah. Oh, 140. they changed it. It's okay. a little bit. It's still pretty. It's bad. like it's like epsilon longer than the range. Did I just use epsilon in a cast? Oh my god. <laughs> nice <sighs> vocabulary, bro. It's late at night. Yes. I'm you must guy. be smart. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't use words over two syllables. Thank you. I think syllable is actually. More I'm just gonna call whatever. you out when you do. Whatever, man. I'm tired. Ninja Boogie with the bait plays here in the bottom lane as Miracle. The Jewels are going to move in. Afu does not have Stomp yet, and that's a good two-second lob by Miracle. Looking for the KO here. One oh, last swing that. of that cleaver, and down he goes. Really nice bait from Ninja Boogie. That was like a 300 so range auto attack. What the heck was that? Well, he does have 370 move speed with the, the boots now. So. Yeah, true. I guess he didn't have them with that last attack. The other thing about CK is he's kind of like Bane. His animations are really long and drawn out. So when he starts his auto attack, you're like 200 range closer than when it ends. So RR oh, and Nana almost, duking it They almost it had the surround on the TA mid lane. No, did already commit the rage here, but RR taking a pretty hefty beating. Oh, you mean like around the cliff? Yeah, yeah. they almost had the surround with the disruption. Okay. So Batrider doing pretty well so far, but Life Stealer still getting his experience. And the lane is gonna push, so Nana will get some free swipes in. Doesn't have the calling blade just yet. Though. Actually, you know that they feel like they have to commit the Shadow Demon's time mid here to help out the Medusa. I mean, I think that's fine. Yeah. Like the Shadow Demon isn't necessarily gonna do anything else on the map anyway. Like, what's he gonna do? Like, try to zone the Batrider? I don't even think that's necessary at this point. I think it's better for him to just do what he's doing now. Like, try to get the Medusa as much as he can. Well, Nova. X Nova definitely keeping eyes on that part of the map as Jules is stalking Kangaroo. See Afu trying to pull, and Jules says, no siree. They're going to move in now. The Hadouken comes through, goes for the stun, and is Carapist. Good timing there. Yeah. Nice. Afu moves in. He's kind of far out. Maybe they turn on him instead. Jules only has the... Cloak and Dagger oh, for now, fire. but they blow up two. Mineski, three to zero. They are off to a hot start. All of them on just shreds of HP. Did Ricky have a fairy fire there? Did I see that right? Yeah, he did fairy fire. Oh, my goodness. I think you have to calm it down a bit if you're WG. You know, yeah, you won the first game, and it was great because Mineski last picked a hero that wasn't very good for their game, and now they're just trying to do a lot of crazy stuff. They knew that there were three heroes there. I don't know why they're like trying to overcommit to these fights when they have a Medusa. It's like you don't have to play the early game that hard. And their their carries are actually farming well too, as we'll see Shadow Demon. Uh, well, we won't see, but he will. Suicide to the neutrals here gets the free fountain trip. I mean, I guess in some ways, even if they're playing aggro, they're still getting like a good amount of exp. Right. Like level three at three minutes on the Nix isn't too bad given the circumstances and. The Life Stealer and the Medusa are still farming, regardless of whether or not they're they're dying in the off lane. And the Nyx still has 11 CS too, so it's not so bad. I was gonna say, you know, the, the kills obviously in Mineski's favor. But the the CS is remarkably even across the lane. Is Radiance KS9 a thing? Nope. I hope I not. Have can can confirm not a thing. Uh, considering the cooldown of Phantasm, I would assume not. I mean, I I think that. From that perspective, Octarine isn't a bad item, which is conducive to Radiance. However, 
Not a thing. I, I really don't think I'd so. I'd probably think of anything like refresher late game is better for CK than yeah. Octarine. Yeah. Making a move now in the bottom lane. They're going to go for the stomp. They do connect. Oh, nice stomp. Good job there. Kangaroo still looking for the stun, though, and he's waited so long that Miracle continues to juke to Jive. He turns, nice. and he walks right into wow. it. Spins around and gets punished. So good patience there. That's like the from pudge the, effect, from right? From the marsupial. You try to dodge the hook so much, you just end up getting hit by a bunch of other crap, and you die anyway. Or you just run, end up running in a straight line, right? <laughs> I think he thought he was. I think he must have just have thought he was dead because he just turned around. Well, well he, he wanted, wanted to, to stun him next. so yeah. he couldn't. Oh, get him. all right. Well, come on though. We just talked about <laughs> CK's animations, right? It's pretty bad. He was dead there, almost no matter what. I mean, I probably could have gotten a drink by the time that stun finished. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Might need one by the time this uh, this day is over, depending on which Mineski shows up down the stretch here. Oh, they're still looking all right for the moment. Nana moving in onto RR. Uh, it's been a pretty even duel early, but now Nana's starting to really pull ahead. Has the Blightstone, and of course there's like no kill potential for Batrider, just raging off the Napalm and can trade effectively with the Feast. So he's doing quite well here in the 1v1. Dusa holding her own, and that's where like they really just need, as you said, just should chill and get levels bottom. They don't need to do anything. Their cores are farming great. And once the Nyx gets 6, it opens up a lot of opportunities around the map. I mean, sure, you could say that playing Nyx against Ricky isn't really the best, because Ricky just is permanently invis, and Vendetta uptime is a little bit limited, but it's still going to let you know a lot of pressure off the Medusa, off the Lifestealer, and heck, even the Lifestealer Nyx ganks are going to be something that Mineski are going to have to worry about, because Warlock, for example, uh, and sometimes Batrider, even the TA, they can all die to that quite easily. Jules continues to stalk around. Just keeping tabs here, as there is already a small ancient stack brewing. Triple stack for now. Bimbo going to start working on the Deso. He has his own small ancient stack. There's a sentry here, which will reveal this freshly planted observer. And he'll take the gold, thank you very much. Hmm. So, do we see the Nyx move as soon as he gets six here? guys do you think or is he gonna I would just think hang so. around I yeah. think he wants Afu to get a few levels too because Afu's only at four so when he gets Vendetta he just goes around you know if he's lucky he finds a kill maybe he even goes top lane and uh, has a lifestealer infest him to go for something like that yeah that's exactly right it, it's it's as much about giving the Elder Titan the lane as it is about uh, making the rotation and trying to get the kill with Vendetta uh, ET very XP dependent support and I guess the Medusa TA matchup ended pretty even, right? Both heroes kind of just got farmed. Yeah, it looked like he was struggling for um, for mana, but was bottle crowing, and uh, then it's not like Dusa is really contesting the runes all that much. So, well, in this type of game with a Ricky, it's yeah, it's really annoying to try to go for runes. Yeah, yeah it didn't even bother getting a bottle. So, I guess at least in this game, it looks like a wash. Uh, TA looks like she's going to get that Ancient stack pretty easily, too, so... Yeah, Wars Gaming do have the Nyx, so there's, like, some contest potential, but... We'll have to see. Batrider of RR has made a move. Looks like he wants to steal some stacks. Just a small double for now, and odd jet. He thinks about going in. He doesn't see this Batrider. He's going to stack it again. Yeah. Oh, wow. This, this okay. is big. Some denial farm. That's some high-risk farming, actually. Yeah, I, I was going to say. Oh, he didn't stack. Yeah. Okay, he well, he does out. see the Nyx. Yeah, I mean, the, with the heroes that are shown on the map, he's probably he safe to do it. But in general, you don't see many people stacking the enemy team's jungle to farm it. <laughs> and yeah, and Medusa's going to... Oh, he's man. Like, God damn it. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, that's frustrating. I mean, the fortunate part is, though, for you know WG, they can't do that to the Ancients. So Yeah, the stack that matters is, is the TA stack on the Ancient side, though it is still a double stack right now. Oh, um, Mineski, I like that scan. They were, I think they were contemplating a dive here bottom, but they see there is someone lurking behind Afu. So what is the build for Miracle? I think that's the most interesting question. Like, how do you itemize the CK? Is it just that armlet, like, BKB fight build? Does he... Go into a Diffusal Blade Manta. I think Armlet is probably the best bang for your buck. Oh, um, Armlet, absolutely. And then after that, maybe he goes into Manta. Diffusal is pretty good this game just because of the Dusa, but maybe he also decides to go the route of 
Uh, Heart's not that great against Life Stealer. Maybe AC? I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah. Manta's also quite nice against Life Stealer to remove the open wounds. Yeah, I, yeah. I kind of like Manta Defusal, to be honest. Yeah, I, I really do. I think that's the build in this game. AC is, AC is good as well. I mean, I think he definitely buys Manta and probably Arma, too. But after that, I think it's it's up to him. Scotty's also a pretty good stats item on CK, actually. Honestly, do you even BKB this game? There's just so much that... Purge, there's yeah. Dusa, there's Earth Splitter. The only thing you're BKBing is Nyx spells, pretty much. Exactly. Which are and I guess fairly big, but you don't have AoE, so you're not overly worried about them. The thing that sucks is your BKB doesn't protect your Phantasm, so the ET is still going to stomp all your illusions and stuff like that. It can be really frustrating. Oh, nice initiation down here. Now those phase boots are up on Jewels, and he will make short easily. work. Not that Elder Titan even prompts a TP from Nana to no avail. So Mineski continue to extend their slight advantage into a bigger one. About a thousand gold lead now. A bit more in experience. Comfortable start at 10 minutes. Deso is on the way. Uh, not complete, but well under construction as far as the farming goes. The Batrider Blink nearly ready. He's actually getting so much. Warlock has his ulti, yeah. and he's denying a lot too. Still, I I, don't, I just don't feel like we've really learned anything about how this game's gonna go because to me it's now mid game versus late game. When you look at the TA and the CK to get uh, against the uh, the Medusa lifestyle. I mean, yeah, the TA is actually a snowball hero by nature, yeah. and so is CK to a I guess a lesser extent. CK actually transitions pretty well uh, in a lot of cases. Just he does. Because he carries items with Phantasm very well, but when his ult's down, he's crap. Yeah, so. and, the, and the big thing is that he's just not a flash farmer at all. If he yep. falls behind at any point in the game, he, he has a lot of trouble keeping up the farm. Here we go. Good rotation by Jules again. The lasso says, come back into the cloud, X Nova. Let's have a party. Not the kind he wants, but the kind he will get. That's the blink on the bat. The first lasso secures a kill. And I mean, it's night and day with Jules here. Put him on the Riki. He's 2-0-3. He's made the perfect movements, he's been disruptive, he's scouted the enemy rotations, he's been That's a bigger threat in their heads. It's just a completely different player when you put him on this hero. That's just the style of play that they've been employing the entire tournament. I was just very surprised to see them go away from it in game one. Well, the other thing too is, let's not discount the fact that it is quite a good Ricky game. That That's is true. certainly true. Oh. Back, please. Oh, they <laughs> spotted him. Ninja Boogie. Somebody check that man's computer. That is Double some back. unnatural anticipation. Oh, did he did he still have the sentry vision from when he plays the sentry? I think so, yeah. Because it lasts like what, twelve seconds or something? Yeah, that was actually pretty insane. But I mean at the same time, if the Life Stealer and the Nyx, neither are, are of which are showing in lane, you probably should have some detection where your carry is farming. I'm sure it was just a timing thing, but yeah. I like to think that he's map pack. He's actually a god. That's that's really what it is. <laughs> Jules is going to scout out Kangaroo here. And that vendetta's over. Yeah, that <laughs> he not. almost looked like he wanted to jump. Not quite as effective as he wanted it to be, but, you know. You take the good, you take the bad. And ancient stacks going down on both sides. This is pretty slow going for the Dusa. But does have the Yasha, the Coin Blade, so... I mean, the reality is, even if it's not, like, the most efficient farming for Ajit, it does open up lanes for other heroes, so... I mean, when your Life Stealer and Nyx are running around the map looking for kills, and the Deuce is farming Ancients, that means that the ET and the Shadow Demon are at least getting something. And I think in these types of games, when not much is happening, the more efficient you can be, the better. So, Armlet's out for both strength carries, and... Still kind of waiting to see what the divergence are... Uh, the, the Divergence is, I should say, uh, if anyone's going to grab a different kind of item or do something unusual. Uh, for now, TA gets the blink, so not rushing the Deso, but presumably we'll get it next. Jules just constantly keeping tabs on Ajit. And supports getting their levels. It's a pretty even game, guys. Yeah, I, I think we're going to see the first big, uh, big moments in this game when TA and CK have their second... Uh, mid-tier items up. That's when I think Mineski has a really big power spike relative to what Warriors Gaming is going to have at that point. Yeah, Blink Deso TA is really strong and you know, maybe the CK gets a Manta or something like that. I mean, that's quite a ways off because it's a fairly expensive item, but the next item in line, I do kind of agree, is going to sprout some kind of aggression because they know that going ultra late against Dusa is just, especially Dusa Shadow Demon. That's, that's yeah, just... Yeah, exactly. That's not what, something you want to do. And we're also kind of discounting the fact that, you know, Kangaroo on the Knicks, he's eventually going to get, like, 
Aghanims. And yeah, super annoying high he, ground. I think he's even going Midas. Well, game. he just bought the recipe and sold it. He might okay. be debating he's skipping the Midas. Probably, no, he's, he's, he's got to go you Midas get this that game. Money. You yeah, get especially that money. in this game, when you have a deuce on your team, you know you're trying to take it late, and you're a core. You've got to have Midas on next. And you have Elder Titan just to slow down any sort of push or aggression. They move on to Miracle, whipping the stun, hitting the stomp. You know, that's the other issue that we haven't really talked about, is that uh, I am a little bit concerned for Maneski because even if the TA and the CK do start to snowball, uh, Warriors Gaming have excellent high ground defense. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. This is a pretty dirty turtle lineup, to be honest. I mean, there's a reason why Elder Titan is banned so much. It's because that hero just gives you the whole package. He helps you, your team scale as a whole just by existing. He can single-handedly stop a Roshan attempt. He can defend your high ground. He's good in the early game. Hero does everything. Well, this could be the ideal time to move in. Raging Potato has not used his refraction, and just kidding. See you later, Kangaroo. Dyer's Patiently waiting with that Vendetta, but all the while, Miracle trying to move in bottom. Has the armlet, grabs the Ogre Club, is he going and they do oh. finally find him. And again, he's able out. to blink out with the refraction still active. In fact, wants oh, to Nana turn on Nana. Hasn't fast. The rock gets dropped. Big yeah. commitment. I mean, why the hell not to kill him off at this stage? And he does have the level two in fast, so he can hop inside an ancient. Major Potato tries to stop him. He can't wow. quite do it. They might still be able to kill him. I mean, that's, that's a, a tanky big goal. goal. Yeah. Man, that was actually that was some Benny Hill level stuff right there. <laughs> that was like one of those Bond movies where oh, no, no, never mind. Gets the HP and just kills Jules. Oh, he had a century. Mid animation too. He died. That sucks. All right, so just curious, uh, Miracle just purchased an Ogre Club. I, I don't think you rush BKB in Echo this Echo Saber, game. maybe? So yeah, yeah, Echo Saber, I think, makes the most sense. Hmm. I was thinking about Echo Saber, SNY, Halberd, but I like Echo Saber a lot. Echo Saber is kind of It's a little weird on CK. It, it is weird because, I mean, typically when you buy an Echo Saber on a hero, it's because they actually need the mana regen. But CK doesn't spam his spells to farm, so it just seems odd. It is pretty cost-efficient stats, uh, and obviously CK is good damage with the crit, so... The yeah. Halberd is pretty good against the Lifestealer, too. It could be Halberd. I wouldn't mind Halberd. I, th I would actually prefer Halberd over Echo, I think. Guess we'll find out soon enough what Miracle is cooking up. Oh, boy. But Deso is go. ready, and this could be the timing for Mineski. Yeah, they, they just... This is a little bit surprising that... I know Warriors Gaming and Unity are, are a late game team, but they haven't done much to contest uh, that TA's farm on our own side of the map. And they're going to gank Miracle, who is the hardest to kill hero on the map right now. Probably he gets stomped, though, slept, and just quickly melted yeah. down. Man, they have the damage. That's pre Echo Saber on the Lifestealer, which is now ready. Even prompting a TP reaction. They're going to try to isolate Nova on the backside of this fight. Jules waiting for a really good cloud. He's patient Ooh. about this. Almost one shot the Shadow Demon. I was just going to say that Shadow Demon got meld struck in. It's oh, they're going happening. in. They did manage to sleep Bimbo. And he's on his own. He gets focused, isolated. And again, the refraction blink out. Warriors gave me really struggle to break that. As Jules moves back in, and it is in almost into sentry range. Well, that's getting nerfed next patch. I remember back in the day when Refraction didn't let you just blink for free. It's been like that for quite a while. A while. Yeah, Ever yeah. since the, the rework. It's been a very long time. It's just that TA wasn't as popular. Uh, so. it's true. Well, Potato's like, He's I'm just going to take lasso. this tower. He's still got Lasso. Yeah, but there's a stomp trying to get in range with that spirit. Potato chasing down in the river. He goes in. Uh, Beautiful flame break, but the cloud comes in. Just a stomp weird too decision late. by Nana there. He just went back in on the Batrider in a position where Batrider could lasso him onto the, onto the low ground for free. I think he wanted him to get the deny on the tower. So he, like, he walked forward to try to stop the Batrider from going in. That is not at all worth it. Well, in hindsight, it's No, not. no, no. Even even before the fact, like, look, it, it's it's 500 gold, basically. It's not... Uh, it, it is definitely not worth sacrificing a core's life over to get a tier one tower. Okay, the tower. oh man, <laughs> tricks of the trade. Uh, tries to get out of there and blink strike. He might get out of he there. He might oh, actually live. The mana burn does nothing because Jules has no mana to burn. And he's gonna make it out, and all the while, raging potato, having his way with this top tower. Jokes on you guys. I'm not smart enough to mana burn. Just walks it off. No big deal. 
So, Jules just continues to be super high impact this game. Two, one, and four. He's been in on every kill. Wow, and we got some potato farming going on. Yeah, uh, he's... They're taking off. This is turning into a TA game. He is owning, with for the sure. Dragon Lance now picked up as well. I mean, we say owning, but he's 0-0-1. The reality is he's just hitting a heck of a lot of creeps. He is owning fast. those creeps, though, okay, Andy? Like, I mean, they as are, a farmer, they I are, can... They cannot withstand <laughs> the mighty potato onslaught. I can get behind a good farming game, you know? I find his name oddly appropriate for uh, for what he's doing. I imagine Shane would be very proud of his potato farming skills. I actually get, you know, PTSD if someone's not farming. I, like, watch them for, like, a minute. If they don't hit a creep, I just start to get the shakes. <laughs> it's not the meth withdrawal, guys. It's it's the farm withdrawal. That's the worst kind. It's like if someone has a Midas and they don't use it right away. Yeah, okay. All right. I Mi remember. Midas I miss Midas CD. Reminder oh. guy, just want to say. <laughs> That's funny. There was a guy in Twitch chat. His name was Midas Reminder, and he would actually like set a stopwatch and count how long it had been since you had last used your Midas, and he would just spam in chat to let you know. That carapace. That was a really fast reaction, but still did. Well, TA now getting involved. Potato 1-0, or 2-0 on one. Oh, one zero and one sorry. It's actually going to straight for the pike, huh? Yeah, interesting. I mean, it's still really good. Because, I mean, worst case scenario, you use it to force staff somebody out from a life stealer bomb. Because that's pretty much the, the thing that has the highest kill potential in the game right now on the side of the BUG. It's also good just to push a teammate away from the stomp, which is. Wait, he's rushing BKB? Miracle? Didn't he, like, play, like, Radiance Life Stealer the other day? Wow, that. Okay. And now maybe he's, maybe he's, his I team just had a talk. I assumed that that was going to be something different. They just had, like, a sit down. It's like, Miracle. Um, I don't know how much I like BKB in this game. It is really good against the Knicks. It's super stable, and if you think about it, his TA is the primary damage dealer. He kind of just needs to be like a distraction. Front line tank. Yeah, it's like, please don't ignore me. I'm glowing in yellow. And then have Raging Potato just one-shot everyone. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure he like one-shots everyone. That's true. It also, it makes him it makes him strong at a time when the, when his, the TA is going to be by far the strongest here on the map. Yeah. It's good synergy, good power spike, as we like to say. We went from win conditions to power spikes, guys. We gotta think of new catchphrases. I like power spike. Win conditions is dumb. It sounds like a volleyball term. Power spike. It just, I don't know, it makes it more exciting. It, do, it does sound cooler than win conditions. Win conditions is how they win. <laughs> just trying to sound yeah, smart about it. You hit the ancient. The mm, other team their types win condition GG. is to gank a lot, guys. I mean, right now, the win condition is hit BKB and run at the enemy team. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't even know what that voice is supposed to be, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> it's like, That's the... We've it's, been like up. A, it's like a nerd with a pocket protector. I mean, know. is that the white pudgy Steve Urkel? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Hurricane Pike online. And here comes the potato. It's the lasso. We'll find out. Oh, I'll okay. just flame break you away then. Interesting. That was the mercy flame break. And TA is just going ham in the Roche pit. Thank Look at this. All right. I don't think he's going to jack him out, guys. I mean, it's pretty impossible to do that on TA. <laughs> okay, not impossible, but it's really pretty damn difficult. hard. But I don't think that WG. Is it, is it a good thing or a bad thing if you have like a verb? You know, like art styling a grave or PGG in a black hole. It's, I mean, they're mostly negative things. It's a bad thing. I was gonna say a Dota. I guess you'd like S4 in a dream coil would be a good thing, probably. I mean, that interrupted. Here we go. TP, Big Roche fight could be about to break out here. Four staff is gonna bring Aro oh. down to the low ground. Surprise, though. Nana walks right in the stop. It hits everyone, but they got up the BKB on Miracle. They also grabbed the Aegis on Raging Potato, and they dropped the Golem to try and turn this one around. Miracle can arm oh, toggle. Dead. That cloud was great by Maneski, and now they look for kills. On to X Nova. Jules getting into him. And meanwhile, Ajit getting isolated. The Deso is starting to chunk through what remains. Can they stun him? Oh, the Lake Gids is going to cancel that stun. Actually, he didn't use it. It might have been cooling down. We'll make it out, but still, they grabbed the Aegis. They hang on to it, and yeah, that four step by Raging Potato, very nicely done. Yeah, he, he tried to, I think, use the Reality Rift to break the Lincolns and then the Chaos Bolt to stun, but... He didn't actually get the Chaos Bolt off in no, time. He doesn't. It might have been cooling down. But that's like a, a real big indicator now for WG that they just need to go for Ultra Lincoln. 
they're not going to be able to fight into Maneski for the foreseeable future unless they're out of position. Yeah, which they kind of all, they sort of already knew that, but yeah, it just gives Warriors Gaming Unity, or it gives Maneski an even bigger Oh, range. what a play nice. by RR, just kites and stays in range until the carapace ends and four steps in as it's ending. Grabs him with the lasso, drags him back. Man, this guy is coming up clutch for Maneski down the stretch. Can't really say enough about him. I mean, everyone's actually playing super well this game on the side of Maneski. It's crazy what happens when you don't last pick Husker into like the worst heroes to play Husker against. Nana, he's already raged and just sprints out. Ward goes down, Sentry did not scout Jules again, getting that deep intel for the team. Honestly, there was, he almost has he a, has a defusal. defusal. Oh yes, my he does. lord! This is what I'm talking about with Jules. When you put him on the on the greedy or four position, he just it's it's MMY level items out of nowhere. Yeah, this. I is mean, he's earned them the the MMY way, which is just getting kills all yeah, over yep. the place. He, he paid the iron price. That's what you got to do. You just got to kill people. Nice. When is Game of Thrones? Yeah. Honestly, as as well as Maneski's playing though, this is kind of supposed to happen with their lineup. The the big moment is going to be the high ground fight. Yeah, I mean that's that's kind of the thing with a lot of games, but I guess this one's especially important because they're you know WG. We talk about their high ground defense and how good it can be. We're not even really quite to the stage where the Shadow Demon Medusa synergy is really right. there yet. You, but you know he gets like maybe one or two more items, and you're going to have like a lot of issues trying to get up there. And not to mention, you really want to utilize Phantasm to push, but it's going to be harder doing that against Medusa ulti. Have we seen a Phantasm? Um, I don't think so. I don't. I don't yeah, if he I don't he might have if he used it here, it like blew up instantly. Yeah, I I don't actually recall if he did or not. I just remember him BKBing and running away. Oh, there's Defusal. I s I'll say number one. Might be more to come from the CK. And meanwhile, only a Demon Edge on this TA. <laughs> Boy, she is big. Yeah, it's going to be... Uh, Raging Potato is not screwing around. He wants to play in the major. Man, oh, man. I mean, Bimbo has been playing Dota for a very long time. This guy is, was playing in Dota 1, like, almost back to when, like, the, the earliest I can recall, like, even Dendi playing. Made the switch to Dota 2 much later, as did a lot of the Filipino players. But he's, he's matured a lot. He was a wee young lad back then, but... Amaneski, they're so close, they could taste it. They're gonna move in, they get the Yules off on Ajit, but a little back away. Gonna look for a better opening. Yeah, a lot of this is gonna be on RR's Batrider to try and, and get them the big picks to open up the ability to push high ground, because I, I just don't think they can high ground 5v5 for quite some time. So it is the Reaver for CK. Yeah, it's Imagine the heart yeah. coming. I mean, it's it, normally you say stuff like, okay, it's against Life Stealer, it's not amazing, but the reality is you just want your illusions to be incredibly tanky. Yeah. And the base damage benefits the illusions anyway from the reverse, so. And Life Stealer can't, I mean, Life Stealer can't Life Steal off illusions, it's obvious, but yeah. if, if you're kiting him around with your hero while your illusions are beating on him, it works. Oh, Kangaroo going for the TP. No siree. RR finds another. This is going to be a marsupial stew for him. And it will be Jules collecting the last hit. So <laughs> adds to his collection. Five, one, and seven, guys. He's still on every kill. Yeah, the, the four position Ricky is ahead of the three position Nixon net worth. And, and the next bottom Midas. <laughs> That's actually crazy. He's just a bug trying to live in a man's world. And so far, it's not going that well. It normally doesn't for the bugs. I mean, this game is still. You know, it's crazy, but it's still doable for WG. Oh, it's just very that doable. They're, they're playing a game where they need to wait, basically, for Maneski to come to them. And outside of that, they cannot take fights in the open because the Ricky is giving way too much of a vision advantage. They have a Batrider as well for initiation. And, you know, RR, like LD was saying, is playing a phenomenal game. So kind of have to rely on high ground defense. Eugene Potato is going to commence that assault. Blinks out and dodges that stun. Chip away and force some TPs back and then they will rotate. They bring the CK down to the bottom lane. Heart is coming very soon. Just needs the vitality booster. AC complete on the life stealer to somewhat mitigate this physical damage. Definitely like that pickup against this lineup. Yeah, that's really good. 
a little bit surprised that um, CK did go for that over the heart. Especially well, against the, against so the elder with your illusions. Yeah, but against the elder titan on the other side, too. That's the other thing. Yeah, ET does scale off the health quite a bit. I don't know. It's it's a toss up. I mean, you're you're sacrificing something one way or another. The AC, I think, does actually make the illusions a bit weaker, but the heart makes your team potentially take more damage Radiant from Earth Splitter and is not necessarily attack. as good Radiant when the Life Sealer is hitting is you. But in every other scenario, the heart's better. So. I guess that's the the play. Kangaroo. They just get two towers in a row. No contention. Yes. Yeah, that's right. what is alarming me a little bit. Well, they want to fight. They just got to find a target. R R gem. Has the smoke. Looks like it wore off, and Dyer did see that, I believe. Probably a blessing in disguise that uh, WG didn't take that fight. They didn't even have to do so. And he needs to be real careful about showing himself mid when the rest of his team backs. Okay, he's, he's not going to get caught like that. But Jules is on a mission, man. Yeah, got the haste. He's going to scout out a juicy target in Ajit, but also a very tough kill. They got to break that Lincoln, and they got to control him. They drag him way back. He is going to be able to get off a stone gaze, I believe, and that will force their retreat. The stomp comes in. Rough Pulled him way. out of the cloud. Oh. Maybe if they saved the cloud for after that, they could have killed him, but would have been tough. I don't know if they had enough lockdown to burst him. He's still they do have the game. purge. No, but that was a lot about just knowing that the stone gaze is down but now. But the thing is, they can use phantasm now to take buildings. Exactly. And I have Deso too. All, All right, here we go. First phantasm, I think, of the game. And he is only going to get the two illusions, but they are difficult to deal with. They do a lot of damage. He sends them in on to Kangaroo. Disruption is there. Stop. And they will be lost rather quickly. Didn't actually do very much. I mean, he did run them into heroes instead of hitting the tower. But, but Bimbo's got eyes on the prize, and he also oh, is going to pay the Infest Bomb special. Comes through. In fact, that Earth Splitter even hits the Bat Rider, has the blink ready. Should be able to get out of there. The Golem committed. What? But he ended up making it out in the end. And, well, they will get the Warlock as a consolation prize. Riki retreating out. I mean, I guess the mentality there is drop the rock because you know you're not going to be fighting again, you know, at least for a little while. That was uh, a good save on the Bat Rider. I actually think that the Golem is worth it in that situation to save the Bat because the Bat is actually worth, like, a decent amount of money in this game and also has a gem. So, yeah, I would I would say that Golem is worth it. I'm just asking myself why the TA was quite that far forward. I know you want the Tier 3 tower down to 32 health at the moment, but... He had Pike too, right? Uh, yeah, it, it, that's really underestimating the damage potential of their combo, though. Well, tower one hit from death, so they almost took a Tier 3 for that. Still not great, but could be worse. Yeah, but you just you, you only have so many of those against the Medusa. I mean, you can also partially pin that on Miracle for not just hitting the tower with his oh, illusions. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think just a bit of miscommunication from Neski about what the goal there was. Are they trying to find kills? Are they just trying to take the tower back? Are they adjusting the game plan mid-push? But, but I, I do think, though, that, that you saw kind of Mineski have the right idea going into that engagement. Go, go and try and catch the Medusa out just to force out the Stone Gaze. And once you know that's down, you have so many more options in terms of pressuring the high ground. That's true. This is still not really there. Like, her illusions are tanky, but she does not hit very hard. She's that is going to change soon, she's though. She's getting close, yeah. This like, is going to be a Scotty. And you give her Scotty maybe the makings of that one next item, and then she's going to be completely out of control, especially with the AC, even the Blightstone and the Elder Titan behind her. And they're already feeling confident with the Rock down to move in. Roche is actually going to respawn almost at the perfect time. This could really come back to haunt Mineski. Yeah, this is getting kind of scary for them, actually. In some ways, the one extra item after Scotty could kind of spell the turnaround for them. Because if it's Butterfly, then both the, the CK and the TA have to worry about buying MKBs or, you know, somebody buying a Bloodthorn, which is obviously very expensive. Or if she goes the path of MKB, then she actually does a lot of damage and still maintains a fairly high effective health pool, which makes her an immediate threat. So it's getting close to that point where Warriors Gaming are feeling confident in being able to pressure the map again. How much of a timer do you feel like Mineski are on here, you guys? Because I know you've both brought up that you you don't really want to go late as Mineski, at least not ultra late. If this goes much if, if this goes much past 45 minutes, I think Mineski are going to really start to 
Sark did not like their chances. It just means that the CK's Phantasms become that much more important. Yes. It's like every Phantasm has to be amazing. Like, you need to get a building out of it or you need to win a team fight. If that doesn't happen, the CK starts to fall off in a real big way. Yeah, and, and that... And that boils it back down to what we were talking about in the draft, that it, it is possible as a CK to micro your illusions around stone gates, but it's very, very annoying. Uh, it Really, the ideal becomes trying to force that stone gaze out before the push. Oh, Jules, great positioning here to break the smoke. Uh, unfortunately, he will have to sacrifice his own life, but yeah. it saves the gem bearer potentially a carry from going down. Yeah, exactly. At the end of the day, you will trade your support Ricky for that any time. Now, this is a different matter. Yeah, with the BKB. Now the lasso comes out. They are going to isolate the Elder Titan and look for the quick pick. Miracle decapitates him. Gem hitting the ground now. They would love to scoop that right up. RR's got two, and he's moving in. Buyback from the Elder Titan. They know Roshan's likely up, and the pings come out. They do have the rock. The lasso on cooldown. Do they want to risk a fight? Yeah, I actually, if you're Mineski, I don't know that there's another hero that you'd rather. And that's Scotty is you done, want to kill, by the way. Like, but you love picking that ET off at the beginning of the fight. This is going to be hugely impactful for both teams if the fight breaks out. Well, there's TP back for Ninja Boogie. He buys a smoke. Yeah, he needs to get back as soon as possible. Jules has a gem, and Warriors Gaming are running around without their own gem against Ariki. This is a very oh, risky move, and they're guys, about to guys. pay for it. There's the clout. No. Lasso actually, but still Miracle gets a position, jukes oh, that. No. Ooh, oh, one shots the well. next, just stops the cockroach right out. Apparently cockroaches do break. In that scenario, now Warriors Gaming on the run. The tricks of the trade doing heavy damage to X Nova. Our army won a bit of trouble. That Dusa, a bulwark in the middle of this fight. And Miracle just toying with her, is going to go for the stun, breaks the Lincoln oh, Sphere, manages to bring down RR up. though. I think that's a gem hitting the deck. And now Potato looking for kills. Oh. The Stone Gaze right as the Golem comes out and Nana pops out, goes to work on Miracle. Now it's time for Miracle to commit his ultimate. Oh but unfortunately, God. the illusions are just shredded. Dusa completely countering not only the CK, but it looks like also the Potato. They turn back for Jewels. They got a hold of one of those gems, I believe. Yeah, on the Life Stealer. And that is going to yeah. end the engagement, but there's a Hello. buyback from Bat. They have a fresh lasso ready to go. TA on the move. Ajit, the, the, the escape vehicle, is going to go for a TP out. Can they get the Yules in time? You betcha. That might be two kills for the price of one. Lasso on the Dusa. still going to work on Ninja Boogie. He has no escape. He will drop. Jules currently in Vizier. Remember, there is a gem. They finish off Ajit. Now, can they get Nana? He's tanky. He's difficult to deal with, but they can kite him. The Rage on cooldown. They'll slay him, too. They get the gem right back. That is, I believe, four in total. Yeah, and that is just a huge Batrider buyback paid for itself several times over. Yeah, if they don't make that play, they get Roshan, and then WG probably maintain control of the game from that point on. I'm not I'm not feeling like the CK does much against the Dusa, though. Oh, God, no. Yeah. That was just... Even though well, Miracle timed his ult pretty much as good as you could have asked him to, it still ended up being a situation where he can't physically turn around to deal damage. Again, the key is that they can't get that deep into the fight with Medusa still having her stone gaze up. They have to do something to force the stone gaze out early on in the fight. I mean, even if you force the stone gaze, it's still a situation where you're giving WG the opportunity to go aggressive. Because if, the, if anyone is near and the stone gaze goes off, then if it's like the Life Stealer or the Nyx or you know, even the Elder Titan, they can still throw out spells and, and supplement that with damage. And it's not like you can really kite the Medusa anymore because she has Dragonlance and Scotty. So even if you BKB, you're not really walking away. It needs to be like a four staff or I guess potentially at this point, maybe somebody's working towards... Okay, no Glimmers, so we don't have any of those in the field, but yeah. So crucially, uh, no gem for Warriors Gaming for seven minutes against yes. the Riki. I, I think, I don't know, I, I think you're actually, I think you can be okay. You've got a Blink on Ricky. you got Blink Force on Bat, uh, TA's got a Hurricane Pike and a Blink. I mean, you, you've got some mobility tools. I mean, I don't think it's a matter of, I think they're okay too, but they have an Aegis on the CK. And he's probably not the best carrier, but the TA needs all her items because yes. she needs to be able to deal damage. So I guess the other option would be like, I guess, Ricky or Bat. And definitely. that, by the way, is, is the other big issue right now is that this TA is six slotted. She, is, yeah. she doesn't necessarily want to give up any of these items. I mean, I guess you probably get rid of Desso, but... Sure. Yeah, Desso could be an MKB or I guess Butterfly maybe, but there's not a whole lot of room to grow here. 
Yeah, it's getting down to the wire here. And both teams are still very, very capable of winning this game. Yeah, I, I, it's I'm been a long day by. for both of them. Warriors Gaming, they, they did have some time off after the first series, but they've been up and at them since the very beginning of the day. Mineski, a rather grueling defeat to Faceless to walk into this lower bracket final. Uh, I am going to stand by my, my 45 minutes, though. I really do think Mineski need to be in control of the game by the 45-minute mark. If the Deuce gets a damage item, this game is going to get super hard. Yep. Whether and that's and MKB got or Butterfly. Gold. Well, there's a Sanj out now for your Chaos Knight. But I guess a, a Halberd likely coming next. Yeah, Halberd's really good at this point. And I think if you see that, you're definitely going MKB as Deuce. Let's see, what's that? Yeah, he's just waiting for the Talisman. It's kind of cool, actually, that you can use items like Halberd and, and against Medusa oh. because she typically doesn't make BKB. Medusa just committed to Talisman of Evasion, though. Yeah, so she's going for Butterfly. Hmm. I mean, that's the highest uh, effective health boost that you can possibly get right now with no MKBs in the field. It's and Flutter is also really good for, with Scotty for chasing. Yeah, It yeah. is, but, but it's just it's just sort of bad timing with CK just having gotten the Halberd out. She's seen that. She might have Look at this. Jules, Jules with the Echo Saber looking to maybe snipe a the Shadow Demon in these upcoming fights. I kind of like that. Not sure what else you would get as a Riki at this point as they look for the initiation here. Force stabbed in by the Shadow Demon, but that also gets them dragged back into the middle of the enemy team. They drop the rock nice and patiently oh. Miracle waits, but he gets nailed by the Earth Splitter. He's still going to work just with his regular form. He might kill off the Elder Titan. That would be huge, but no, he can't quite chase him down. They are going to lose their Golem. They already lost their bat. BKP off with your head. He says he decapitates one. He's going to look for Nana. Tricks of the trade is there. TA chunking it with the damage, but will end up falling. And now it's Miracle against the world. The Stone Gaze already committed. Second life he will have the phantasm but they're gonna have the the stomp available in a second phantasm no he gets stunned he can't get anything off and he will end up dropping that's three dead a ca catastrophic failure to break the base and they scramble back there they lose ninja boogie oh, he makes it out at least but jeez, oh, they just cannot have a good fight that was such a greedy BKB for Miracle. Yes. He BKB'd pre-Aegis Pop to get a kill, and it wasn't a kill on a really that important of a hero. Uh, and, he ch and he chased behind the racks for it. It was just so yeah. bizarre. I mean, it was a discombobulated fight, to say the least. I think if he maybe goes back and tries to help kill you know, either the frontliners, like the Lay Stealer or the Dusa, then it's fine to trade your BKB for the Aegis at that point if the hero at least dies, because then you can you know, back after that. Well, the big the big problem though is that that also interacts with what, we're, what I was saying tower. before about forcing the Medusa to use the stone gaze. If you ever get split up in a fight like that on opposite sides of the Medusa, she uses her stone gaze, and, and you become more split up. Yep, it's true. And she doesn't have any fear about dying this game, and certainly oh, not now. This is hard. And TA is already committed to it. Game got really a hard. A Daedalus. No one even has close. To and this is so good for disruption illusions. Yeah. Evasion now, and they're going to look to go in here. Huge infest bomb dive this onto Ninja Boogie. He doesn't have his ult anyway. It's not really that big of a deal. Oh, that's Already a committed the fatal bonds, though. As they look for the pick off on the other Titan. Good lasso to drag out food, just barely up onto the high ground. But Miracle, Miracle getting no. chunked down by Ajit. There's the Yule still keeping the other Titan out of the picture. Can they focus Miracle down? He will Phantasm, but it's into the Stone Gaze. Too the Illusions do absolutely nothing. He has no health on them, and Ajit will deftly deal with them. But now, needs to back off. The Disruption is ready. Potato going to commit for this. Disruption was used on Raging Potato, who just promptly turns and guns down that Shadow Demon. Good smoke cloud coverage there, but Kangaroo in pursuit. Another death for the Warlock. I believe that's a dieback on him. Yeah, already committed it. And Raging Potato back into the fray. Jules coming in. Hot and heavy. BKP is going in. This is the time to kill Ajit. They need to focus him now. Can they do it? Decent stuns, but not enough. He's just too damn tanky with the evasion. Keeps on pumping in damage from the illusions. Nana will be the sacrificial lamb. And Ajit just scurries away with the flutter. Are they going to chase this? They want to. RR if he can get that Yules off, but Lincoln's is ready. He's got lasso, though. He's got to blink Yules and then somehow get a range for the lasso. The trap might allow him to do it. They buy back on the Shadow Demon, and with that, it's not. Yeah, that was uh, overcommitment, to say the least, there from WG. Maybe getting a little bit excited. They felt like they were in control there. They defended their top lane. They get that boost momentum, walk down mid. But they just need to play it slow. They don't need to take any of these risks. They can just Shadow Demon with the Medusa, just abuse the disruption illusions, and just get the buildings. At, at some point, Maneski are going to have to jump, and that's when you make your move. You don't have to, you know, go inside of the base for a Warlock. The other thing is you really have to 
stay back as the Elder Titan because yeah. him getting dragged into the base made that fight way easier for Mineski than it otherwise would have been. Yeah, I mean, they can play it like a, a standard Shadow Demon plus Illusion Hero lineup now once they get to Mineski's base. And they have very few ways of dealing with that. As long as you have a sentry down for the Ricky and your supports are sitting where they should be, like Elder Titan Shadow Demon counterplay the bat very hard, and you can't just go in and lasso somebody. So I didn't mention this, uh, not sure if you guys caught it, but Raging Potato actually ate a Moon Shards, and he's almost got MKB gold if he wants to buy it, so yeah. he might be able to deal with Ajit. I mean, obviously uh, you've got to wait out the Stone Gaze, but that will give them a chance at killing him. He will certainly do a lot of damage, there's no question. They're going to run in, but high ground positioning, Coast Wars Gaming, this would be a terrible choke point to walk into. They are going to retreat out while Kangaroo comes back in heat. It's a Nakes inside of Nyx. Tasty little treat. And the lasso is there, but Carapace oh no. gem down. Likely, he's already used the blink. He ain't going anywhere. The Golem is committed, even though it's already a lost fight. Gem hits the oh deck. Man. Golem cleaned up. And, now they and know a Rock big is window down. for Warriors Roche. Gaming. Well, Roche, not up just yet, but... We don't know how long the respawn is, right? It might just be Rax, though. Because you've used Lasso. I mean, the Lasso will be up. Yeah, There's Lasso no Rock, though. He has buyout. No Rock. I, I don't know if Rock's that important right now. Oh, a little snipe for Jules. Hmm, thank you very much. I mean, Rock is just a mini stun at this point, I think. The oh. Golem doesn't really threaten anyone. That's no, true. It's It's been dying so quick in these fights. Interesting. He goes for Maelstrom. I thought he would get, like, Abyssal or something. Mjolnir on the Dusa is pretty good. That's true. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. Bottom tower is under attack. So that will be delayed by three minutes with the courier snipe. 45 minutes in, it's a Mineski lead on paper, but it sure doesn't feel that way. Those illusions, man. Radiance Holy cow. practice. And like you said, it's just doing Shadow Demon things at this point. I mean, do you actually, you should turn Split Shot off if you're going to get the okay. shot, right? Because it does more damage. This, I think, though, is, is yeah. your window right here as Mineski. You just got the MKB did, up on the TA. Oh, he did that time. Yeah. Man, just killing these illusions is no, real, it's still on. real tough. Look at these things. All right, somebody has to buy a Radiance. Lay Stealer, yeah. let's go. That's the illusion. They're actually doing decent damage to Miracle. No, and, it, and it's not going to get any easier. I, I really do think you have to force a fight Has right Miracle now. gotten an item? And uh, after He got MKB. Or not oh, okay. uh, Mer sorry, oh, Rage of Fear got Um, no. Okay, so after Halberd was done, he got nothing. CK is not a great farming hero. Oh, they gotta move. They gotta get to the pit, like, now. Well, Deuce's not in there just yet, but now she joins the fray, and time is oh, running out. Shadow Demon is way out of position. He needs to get out of there. Elder Titan. Oh, he's going for it. Onto the Elder Titan. Ricky trying to finish him off, and this is breaking the fight apart. Now into Tricks of the Trade, into safety. The scatters Ajit down to the south. Well, meanwhile, Raging Potato is going to isolate and pick off Ajit, and now looking for an additional kill. Can they bring down oh Exnova? He's packing a life stealer. This is like the perfect spread out fight for Mineski, but the Stone Gaze is going to force those illusions back. Miracle just trying to wait it out, slow down, but not turned into stone. Raging Potato hiding, and now looking to turn out. He chokes down the Elder Titan, and now they look for more jewels blinking in, but Ajit is still very difficult to deal with. That Scotty Slow doing a lot of work. He hides, but it's ineffective. Down he goes, out for 100. The Riki actually doing more damage in that fight, it feels like, uh, than the TA towards the end. But that's another gem down. Man, that poor other Titan. Nobody deserves that. Nobody deserves, like, the one shot. But, I mean, all, all things considered, fight going pretty favorably there for WG. Even though Ajit's not able to kill Miracle that fast, it's just that the Phantasms never do anything. Yep. Like, that is the one thing that you base your hero the on. The rock. Comes down, the Dragon Lance is on the ground. It's not really that big of an item at this point. The Aegis is oh, on the oh, oh, the back guard with the snatch. He keeps their hopes alive. He even lassos the Dusa. She has no TP. Can he get up to the high ground? Oh, he just misses at that. So close, but still, there is no ultimate on this Dusa. They might be able to chase her down. She's very tanky, but they have the MKB. They need lockdown. There's no mod on Miracle. Well, they salvage their chances a bit. At Wait, least. did he lose his dragon lance too? Uh, he no, picked it back. Okay, it. he got it. All right. I that. guess at this point he'd be buying another item soon, anyways. But yeah, that's true. I I just can't believe he got that. That was such a good timing. Who got the last hit on Rush? Oh, it was a snap. It, yeah, it was a snap. Woo! Maneski so, just can't win an easy game, guys. No, 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 no. If they're gonna win, it's just gonna be climbing Mount freaking Everest without any supplies. 
Oh. A broken leg. You're bleeding from every direction. And, and, this and is you have diarrhea. And you have diarrhea. Oh, God. Did and no Pepto really need to go there? Yeah, why not? I think we're thinking I of think Andy's thing. about to have diarrhea if this game goes on much longer. <laughs> no, no, no. We're good. We're good. No, that's, um, that was Starlighter. <laughs> dude, that was worse than... I don't even want to talk oh. about that. That was awful. Sorry, dude. Um, yeah, but Medusa, I think, probably goes, what, Daedalus next? Because she kind of needs damage, right? She's not killing... MKB for the Halberd, maybe. Yeah, MKB is good, too. I just think that a damage item is 100% necessary. I don't think it's rapier status, though. I think they can win without rapier damage. You say that. Oh, yeah. I mean, I do say that, and he might buy I'm, one. I'm just a little afraid. Yeah, I'm a little afraid of Miracle getting a rapier, and suddenly the CK is a lot scarier. Yeah. Then he doesn't actually need Phantasm anymore. He can just punch people. Definitely not a comfortable position when Fanny, you're... Fanny, though? Like, Medusa's going to have MKB here before long, if she wants it. Oh, well, I mean, we're, we're saying if she got rapier and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, if she got... Oh, I see, I see, I see. It was it was a several levels of okay, theory crafting it. and what if. Sorry, it's late at night. <laughs> How dare you? We're Dota players. Nothing's ever simple. We have to think of twenty-five different scenarios that are all wrong, and then. <laughs> oh. That's a double damage. Hmm. So if you He's get a double a damage and a victory dance. Well, that's one solution for how to kill the Medusa. Come on. There you go. Yeah, I think they can act. God, they should really look for a fight with this. This is huge. It's very difficult, though. I mean, at the moment, they have, what, two wards? They okay, do one have just a smoke. faded. Oh. Najee nah, does have bots, too, so he can be in the fight. He's dangerously close to this Nyx. But Nyx does have a Ghost Scepter, mind you, and there is no Diffusal Blade on the TA, only on the Riki. That's actually a really good point, too. The, the Ricky is a support killer this game, not the TA. I mean, sure, the Elder Titan and the Shadow Demon would potentially get one shot, but if either one of them had uh, ghosts, they would never die, pretty much, to Raging Potato. That is a poor Elder Titan. Good <laughs> lord. That poor guy has had an awful game. Speaking of awful games, Ninja Boogie has also been in Struggle City. Well, but no, they, that's actually what they've done throughout the tournament. He's played... Pretty oh, much position there we six. go. This is the moment. They try to move in. They get the lasso up. And then the flame break hits Kangaroo. The rock dropped right as Life Stealer pops out. BOT 2s. Their committee, but Ajin is trapped oh under the my. cloud. The Earth Splitter, though, deletes a TA who has no buyback available. Three minutes on cooldown, 100 seconds on the sideline. And they've caught Miracle 2. Can he TP out? Is there anything to cancel this? No bash on Life Stealer. He will make it out, but for whatever that's worth. I think you need to cut the creep wave right now if you're RR, but he doesn't have a TP either. He has an Aegis. He actually should cut the creep wave, I feel. But it's it's really risky, because if you mess it up, you're just... Jules might try for it. Oh, Jules could actually kill Afro again. He has a gem. Hey, buddy! Where you going? Oh, that Echo God. Saber. That this poor Elder Titan! Man, Jules is saving this game so hard for Mineski right now. And Medusa just goes straight Daedalus. Whoa. Yep. I like, right. I like a damage item here, for sure. Uh-oh, this could be bad, though. There is an Aegis up, but not worth just sacrificing it for nothing. Well, he did try to cut the creep wave. <laughs> normally, normally just barreling down mid is uh, one of the more dangerous ways to do it, but nice he does get play. the blink out. RR, wow. stalling. He is wasting a lot of time. It's already 50 seconds until TA respawns closer. They will lose that. He doesn't have buyback either. And he doesn't have it for 70. Oh, I don't know if they can afford that. Did they see the... They saw the Ricky. Jules going into the trade. He should have maybe hit Kangaroo once more. He jumps out with the blink, but the chase is on, and they're trying to isolate him. Oh, this might be a bridge too far. One kill too many. Jules trapped. Jules down. Jules does have the buyback. But all the while, that ticking time bomb of a Medusa just barrels down mid. Instant buyback. No TA for 20 seconds. At the very least, this is one Rex. It could be more the cloud. Trying to slow things down. Ajit just going to move outside of that cloud. Continue working on the melee. He's going to get this for sure. He might get more. Kangaroo straight into the base. Oh. Diving onto Mineski. Oh, it's falling apart at the seams. It's been a beautiful run for the Pinoy squad. But it all comes unhinged now as they are lacking two buybacks. 25 seconds without their Batrider. 45 without the Warlock. Two lanes of Rex down. This is Megas, or actually, no, it might just be the throne because that tier two's still up. So Ajit, he's going to start to go for it. They're inside the base. They're in Mineski's house. Miracle stands back and watches. Not much he can do against the Lady Dusa. This could be the end. 
what a terrible way to go out after Mineski just played so well. Basically the whole qualifier, but not able to really finish anyone off. And now it's coming back to haunt them. X Nova just using the Ghost Scepter to kite here. Doesn't look like they're quite going to get the Rex or the Throne oh, yet, but instead they get Miracle. God. Beautiful Earth Splitter, slamming it down. And with that, Warriors Gaming might have just taken this game fully in their own grasp. Miracle trying to turn it around, though he does have his ultimate, but the Dusa easily oh, deals with it until the Rock comes in. Miracle, oh, it's just not enough damage. No. Nana fights his way through it. He can armlet toggle, he can dive in deeper. All five are dead. No, none have buybacks. And Mineski and a Heartbreaker have been knocked out, and Warriors Gaming are going to the Boston Major. I gotta say, I did not expect them to be Mineski, no. especially after watching the, the series that they just played. Uh, and very impressive stuff. I mean, I really liked their drafts, both games. Uh, this time around, it was pretty clear that, you know, they were going to have the late game advantage. The Warlock felt very ineffectual to me this game. He just dropped Rock and it would die or he would die. And then there was, like, no backup for the CK at all. It was kind of just like Raging Potato and, and Miracle running around in circles during fights. It's like the Medusa pick just destroyed them. There was nothing they could do post, like, 30, 40 minutes. I also give Afu a lot of credit for hanging in there on that Elder Titan. He was so poor and getting picked on by the Ricky all game long. But those Earth Splitters in three or four different fights were absolutely huge. Just yep. ruined the TA. Well, Alan, you called the Medusa pick, but, man, that just – the CK just – it didn't feel like Miracle could do anything that game. I feel like maybe a different build would have helped a little bit, but it was – Medusa just got so much farm that Dude, what are you really supposed to do as a CK? I'm telling you, man, the Spectre. Spectre, Ricky. I mean, I think they have their window. I really do. I think Mineski, oh, yeah, looking back at that game, are going to say, well, they're going to say this really sucks. But <laughs> yeah. they, they had their window to win the game and uh, just didn't quite get enough, a few key errors. I, I feel so badly for them. But, again, this Warriors Gaming Unity team has been around. This is uh, multiple regional qualifiers now that they've played in. Uh, they dropped a player before this event began and so had to go through the Opens, and they're going to earn a spot in Boston. Congratulations to them. Yeah, I'm for Faceless, like, looking at the two teams that have advanced from the Southeast Asian region, that's a team that I think can go pretty deep at the event, top eight material. Uh, Warriors Game and Unity, I think still rough around the edges. I don't have huge expectations for them, but if nothing else, it will be a great you know, practice and experience. And we've seen teams, you know, they go to their first major, maybe they don't perform all that well, but it gives them that boost to you know, make a deeper run the next time around. Yeah, and you sure certainly, I would think that given what's happened in the last three majors, do not underestimate these SEA teams on land. No, we're going to have, what is it, four of them total. Yeah. So we're going to have four Southeast Asian teams. We're going to have five Chinese teams. So that's Execration, MVP, Warriors Gaming, Fearless. Er, faceless, yeah. Faceless. faceless, yeah. And Faceless and Fearless, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably yeah, after today. Pretty much, yeah. Um, and then we will have... Uh, Five Chinese teams. So we're going to have Newbie, Waynes, and uh, Ehom, e uh, and then whoever qualifies. Right. So it's going to be a lot of a lot of Eastern teams. It's a bit of a resurgence. There was a period where it seemed like Chinese Dota was in total disarray. Southeast Asian Dota, Dota was just starting to rise, and uh, things have come full circle. So it should be an interesting major. I'm pretty excited. But uh, we're not there yet, guys. We do have the European qualifiers coming up relatively soon. I think China Action is wrapped up for today. Uh, we'll be back, at least some of us, uh, for uh, the China final day. Uh -huh, sadly, will not. Flying back, has to work, school, job, job, Ugh. real life, family. Oh, okay, I you like disappoint family. me. <laughs> don't, don't, don't say family. Like that. Uh, but thanks for joining us, Alan. It was a pleasure. Uh, of Always course, pleasure. you can follow Alan here uh, Naha, at Nahas Dota. Uh, Andy at what is it? Drascal Dota Ten or something? Uh, don't even bother. What, it'll, what, it'll get hacked anyway. What number of Twitter <laughs> account are you on now? Four, I think. Yeah, Rob. Rob's like, you know what? I've given up on Draskal. I'm just not even gonna put a hashtag down. It's fine, or a tw Twitter tag down there. But uh, I think it's at Draskal Dota Two, the word. And with that, guys, thank you all for watching. Uh, we're gonna wrap it up here in LA. We'll be back uh, a bit later for American action. But for now, uh, it's off to Europe. <laughs>